Hey guys, it's May May, and today we are making a Valentine mailbox. You've probably seen one of these before. I know you saw it in the thumbnail, and this one's super easy, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and your scoring board. Now, I am going to make this so easy. We're going to start with a box. A lot of my projects do start with a box. I'm going to tell you the score lines, and then I'm going to show you a template that I made for us, okay? So we're going to score at 4 inches and 8 inches. And then we're going to turn this in our scoreboard and score again at four and eight. You can see we're just making a simple box. Now, there's one thing I'm going to do. I need to take some bulk out of a spot. So here's how I decided to do it. Where I've got four inches scored here, I'm going to come back to three and score down to my first score line. So where those meet right there. Okay. Then where I've got eight, I'm going to go out to nine and do the same thing and stop at that score line right there. Now, let me show you the little template I made so this will all make sense. You can see it all drawn out. So what we just did is this, roughly. <laughs> so basically, you just have a box here, and then we've made this little flap, and we won't need this, and we've made this little flap, and we won't need this. So I just wanted to show you this so you'll know that's what you're scoring, all right? So now let's do some cutting and slicing. So I like to use my big scissors for this because I can get like one good cut on the paper. And cutting in the ditch, you guys ask me sometimes how I'm doing this. On this one, I'm cutting in the ditch of the score. I'm just gonna cut straight to that first mark there and I'm gonna cut this guy away. Okay, so I got that little guy. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna take this one away, cutting in the ditch of the score mark and take this guy away. Perfect. Now what I wanna do is do some little finesse work here. Let me show you what I mean. I need to slice this over, so I'm gonna do that. You can totally do this all in one cut when you're doing what I just did here, but I don't want you to get lost, so I'm doing it kind of the long way around, but you can totally just slice all the way here and do all your angle cut at the same time. All right, here I'm going to cut little angle there, and I'm going to cut a little angle here. So I want that little flap. Does that make sense? I think it does. Let me flip this over and we're going to do the other side the same way. So I'm going to slice right here. Then I'm going to do my little angle cut. No, there's no specific angle it needs to be. We're just taking some bulk out. Same thing here with my shakes. Okay, so this is what you end up with on one end. Now we need to cut another slice and this slice goes right here and right here, okay? So I'm just gonna come right over here and cutting in the ditch again, just gonna slice to that cross section, okay? And then slice to the other cross section. Once you make one of these, this you can do in your sleep. This is super easy. All right, now we need to crease all our score lines. You could crease before that if you wanted to, but I just do it like this because I can lay everything out and get it all lined up nice and straight, like so and then bring this guy over, and I'm able to line it up at the top there and do my creasing, just like so. Perfect. All right, it's time to do a little slicing. I'm going to make a slot for my mailbox top to slide into, and I need to do it here. Now, I'm gonna show you how I did it because I kind of cheated it and made it super easy, but if you don't have this tool, I'll still show you how this works. I'm gonna use my cut-a-line tool, okay? And I'm gonna lay it on the edge of the little um, box lid there, the box top, and from one score line to the other, I'm gonna make a slice. All right, so I'm gonna start at one score line using that middle open hole on my cut-a-line. I'm gonna stop a little short of it so I can go to it and make sure I get just what I need there. So there's my score line. Now I crossed over a little, I mean my slice. I crossed over a little bit, but that's not gonna be a problem. You'll see in a few minutes, all that will go away. I find making this slice here much easier than trying to um, do it any other way. This is just the way it worked for me. Now, if you don't have this tool, let me show you what you'll be doing. You're gonna measure in one inch, okay? And then you're gonna cut one inch from score to score. So you can totally do this with your ruler, but this just makes it so easy. If you have it, you might as well use it. All right, so now let's assemble this dude. Let's get our glue. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these sides and that's gonna be the sides of our box here and give us a little stabi stability. I like to bulk up the sides when I make boxes like this. Uh, by the way, this box is gonna be able to hold a cupcake. That's the plan of it, this little mailbox. So this guy lines up here like so. 
and you just want to line up that side. And I'm going to lay this down and squish really well. Just like that. And while I'm here, let's do this side. Now, remember I told you that I cut these little flaps to get rid of bulk? If I didn't cut these little flaps, these sides would be three inches thick. And you, I mean, three layers th thick. You don't need three layers thick. That's why I did it like this. So we could just do a little flap on the side. And so what we're going to do is put a little glue here. Just like so. And then tuck that in. And line it up. If you, if you want to leave that big flap there, I mean, you could, it's just the sides of your box will be pretty heavy to be three layers of cardstock thick. All right, so there's that one tucked in. Let's tuck this one before we put glue on it. All right, and you're thinking, this does not look like a post box. It will, give us just a second and we're gonna get there. All right, next step. Now you're gonna need four pieces that are one inch by five inch, and we're gonna score them. So each one of these little guys, you're gonna score in half at half an inch. Now I wanna show you something I discovered. If you will take this to your work surface and bend the middle, pushing it to the work surface, you can line the edges of your cardstock up as it comes to the top much easier and get a nice straight score mark um, fold. So I'm just gonna do that, and I'm gonna crease all these guys down. Here, you're going to glue these little legs onto your mailbox like so, okay? So what we'll do is we'll run some glue. This is why that little slice really didn't matter if it went a little too wide, because we're gonna cover up half inch of it anyway. All right, so you wanna line these at the top of the box, which is the top part where your slice is. And I'm gonna flip this over and then run my hand inside to make sure I get good adhesion there, okay? I'm gonna open this side out you see I'm opening that leg up so I can put glue on it as well. And I'm gonna glue it to the box just like this. Again, laying it down and squishing it. So all four corners are gonna get these legs. So now, I'll put this where you can see it. The front of your box is where the slot is, and this is the bottom of our little mailbox. How cute is this? And it just stands. You can't really see that, but it just stands on its little legs, okay? Now let's do the curve part. Now, like I've done in the past when I made mailboxes, I don't stress too much about trying to get this perfect curve. That's just too much math for me. So there won't be anything here, but you'll still get the look of a mailbox when you see what we're going to do. Now, this piece is four by nine, okay? And you're gonna need to make some marks. I'm gonna use my cutting board to help me with this. You can totally do this with a ruler if you'd like. Let me get a pen. Here's where you're gonna mark. You wanna mark up on the side at two inches. So that's one inch, this is two. So I'm gonna make myself a little mark, okay? And then I'm gonna come up two inches on this side and make myself a little mark. Now in here, you wanna come in three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna use my ruler and the bottom of my cutting mat to help me do that. So just line this up here. Actually, I could just use my ruler to help me because my ruler has measurements in it. So there we go. I'm gonna make a three quarter of an inch mark. I'm using the inside section of the ruler so I can put it anywhere as long as I'm making three quarters in that corner like so. And make a mark there. Okay, so you guys might not can see that so I'm gonna bring it up closer. There's my two inch mark and my three quarter inch mark. And now, you guessed it, we're gonna angle cut it. So I'm gonna go from this corner to my two inch mark and make an angle cut. Another reason I like the long scissors for this because you can get a nice smooth cut. And down here, I'm just gonna go from my two inch to my three quarter inch. Didn't quite make it. So I'm gonna come back and do a slight, just a tiny sliver more till I get there. Perfect. All right, that is what I want the front of my mailbox to look like. This will be our little curve piece. It'll make sense in a second. All right, back to our box, which I'm gonna lay like this so you guys can see that. What we're gonna do here is I wanna glue this section into the mailbox on the inside there. And I'm gonna glue about a good half an inch, maybe even an inch inside, like so. So I add my glue there. And I'm just gonna come to the back of the box. And inside, 
I'm gonna lay that in, just like I said, about half an inch, almost an inch. Just really making sure I cover all the glue I just put down. And get that smashed in there really well. Now you can do this with different color papers. You don't have to use just the solid red, but I think it's really cute to make the red mailbox and then decorate it. All right, so now what happens is, this flap that we made at the top slides in here and you just wanna push it as far down as it will go and it will stay. Look, there's your mailbox. Isn't it cute? And it will stand up and you just push that in. And remember, I told you it's not gonna have a little thing here because I cannot be bothered with all that little curve. But from the front, you totally know this is a Valentine mailbox. And what I love is the way the flap opens like this. You can put a cupcake in there so easy to give out and then just slide this guy in just like so. Now let's decorate it. So let's talk about covering it with the papers that you want. Now I've decided that I wanna cover this little piece here that wraps the little top part. And here's what I've done. I've cut for myself a piece to sit on top and let me give you the measurements cause I have forgotten already. So this piece is seven and three quarters by three and three quarters. And that's what I'm gonna use here. Now what I'm gonna do is treat it the same way that I did earlier where I did the little angle cut. So we're gonna do the same angle cut. Let me show you. So I'm gonna put it onto my board like I did before. This time I'll have a little bit of gap between these two here. Get my marker and I'm gonna mark up at two inches. One, two. So make myself a mark I can see there and then mark up at two inches here. One, two. And then I'm gonna come in three quarters of an inch. Let's use that ruler to do that again. Now you can do this before you attach it. I just didn't because again, I don't want the bulk underneath there. I just wanted this to mat on top. And so this is how I'm going to mat mine just like this. So I'm just gonna glue that on. And I'm gonna line up the front first because that's what's gonna be seen. So I'm gonna spend more time here than at the top. And once I've got it there, I'm gonna flip it over and rub it down. I'll let that dry for a minute while we keep going. Okay, so now then the front of here. So I decided I wanna put a piece here underneath the slit there because the other piece is gonna slide inside. So I'm gonna put some glue on this little guy and I will tell you the measurements once I get it down. I keep forgetting that, but I gotta tell you those measurements. They will also be in the blog post that we'll link in the description below. So I'm gonna lay that little guy down, line him up. I'll flip this guy over and squish it into place, put my hand in there and squish. So there's that one. And then I'm gonna do the same on either side. Let me give you that measurement. So this piece is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then the side pieces are three and three quarters square. So these can just get glued straight down. Then in the front section, I thought I'd add a little pink. I think that will be cute to have that just sitting there just like that. And then I'm gonna play with stickers. And you could totally play with your stamps here. You could stamp out some really cute images, cut them out, fussy cut them, add a sentiment, what have you. But I have got some stickers from some Valentine packs that I wanna use, that's what I'm gonna do. Now here, if you're finding you're getting some resistance, you can always curl this on your work surface. See how mine is a little bit angled it's not exactly straight. So what I'm gonna do is take this to the edge of my work surface, which is gonna be hard for you to see, but I'm gonna run it like I would if I was doing um, ribbon. So I'm just kind of curving it. You can, let me show you with my ruler. I'm running it on my edge of my work surface to kind of curl it like that. So let me do that a little bit more and that'll get that bend in there. And it's best to do this after your glue has dried so that it will form itself correctly. So that's much better. I still could do it a tiny bit more, but I'm gonna stop there for now because I think it's super cute. And so look at our mailbox. He's so cute. Okay, let's decorate him. So these are the stickers from the paper pack called Be Mine. And look at this little guy. He's perfect for the front right here. So I'm gonna stick him down just like so. You could pop him up if you wanted to. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just gonna stick him just like that right there. And then there's this little letter and envelope, which is so cute. I think I'm gonna tuck him in here like he was going into the mailbox and stick him down here like so. That'll still tuck in nice and cute. I'm gonna keep going with stickers, this is fun. So 
So now I got stickers everywhere. I decided I want to put a couple little bows. So I just tied a little red bow and I think I'm just going to put a dot of glue here and put that little bow in. I was going to tie the bow on the little flap, but I think it looks really cute right here. So put a little dot of glue there and then I made myself a little baker's twine bow to go on top of that one. I'm just going to put another dot on top and put that guy on. And when those dry, I have some little self-adhesive pearls. I think I'm gonna come back and put a little pearl in there too. But for now, I think I'm gonna leave it like this so these guys can get good and dry. So we're not dry by any means. I've got it all stacked up there too dry, but that is how I'm going to finish my little mailbox. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. You always seem to like the mailboxes and you tell me that you struggle with making those curves, but look, you don't really need it. You still get the look and everybody knows that this is a little stand-up mailbox. And so you don't have to do all that crazy math to get that curve. Hey, thanks so much for watching today, guys. Remember, when you make these, I want to see them. So head to my customer gallery on my website at maymaymadeit.com and post pictures of them. Show me what you're going to put inside. You don't have to put a cupcake. It is large enough for that, but can you imagine a cute little stack of cookies, maybe in a little plastic bag, or even just a bag full of candy treats. Or you can think of maybe Hot Wheels cars or little dolls or something if you didn't want to do candy treats. It's big enough to put all kinds of stuff inside. Hey, thanks so much for watching today, guys. Talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.